Thompson stared at the ring of Soviet steel that encircled the city. There was no escaping it. He would have to go through those tanks. Thompson's mouth went dry. Ahead lay the Strauka, the elite of the Red Army, and the last obstacle in the Allies' way.
The battle into Berlin was over. Thompson opened the hatch and breathed in the frozen winter air. They had run the Soviet gauntlet and survived. Thompson's men had broken through the blockade around Berlin. The path was now cleared for Allied supplies to reach the starving population. Thompson had lost so many tanks to the Soviets. The fighting had been fierce. The price had been high, paid by the blood of his men. For some families back home, this would be the first Christmas without a father, a brother, or son. From the ashes of grief, hope would spring once more. Berlin could breathe again. The grip of Soviet rule had been loosened. For now, the threat of another conflict lay unrealized. Politicians on both sides had been hesitant to escalate the situation any further. The world just wasn't ready for another global war. Yet, this was a defining moment in history. One which would see both sides staring across at one another with deep resentment and suspicion. It also heralded the birth of the UN and ensured a nervous peace held across Central and Eastern Europe. As for Thompson, his name would become as synonymous with the desert rats as Montgomery's own. The captain's selfless actions and that of his men ensured the citizens of Berlin had more reason than most to be thankful one cold Christmas Eve in 1948.